.NET Cloud Analytics. In this video, we are going to talk about the importance of using tree maps in Power BI. So tree maps are quite important when you would like to analyze a hierarchical data in Power BI. So there are a few things that we can keep in mind when to choose the specific chart within Power BI. So let's quickly look into this uh, topic and get into the video as well. So let's get started. So here I would like to create a tree map. So for that, I'll just first select this particular visual and try to add the fields to create this particular uh, chart. Right. So here, as you notice, I have used this uh, segment uh, uh, for uh, verifying or uh, trying to see like uh, what is the part to whole relationship of that corresponding data. Right. So for the values, I've used the profit here. So as you notice in a tree map, uh, you see that based on the uh, uh, value of that particular uh, category, it is showing that, you know, uh, large size rectangle and the, as the value is decreasing the rectangle size had been gradually decreasing so there are two things that you can uh, look at in a tree map the first thing is that in order to highlight which specific category value has got the highest value you can quickly use this uh, a tree map uh, and by using that you can quickly identify which specific category has got the highest uh, uh, amount and uh, probably which one has the lowest value and also the highest value has always been uh, placed on the left side of that particular chart while the lowest value has always been placed towards the uh, bottom uh, right corner so the values are been uh, hierarchically placed within a tree map and that's why it is often been referred to as a hierarchical data analysis so whenever we try to uh, do a categorical analysis right we our first preference would always be a bar chart right as we've discussed in the previous video now uh, there could be certain scenarios where your data in the bar chart is quite huge and you're not able to make such analysis so in that situation you can quickly uh, convert that bar chart into a tree map to have that high level analysis to identify where is the growth being observed or probably where is that uh, data been noticed as a highest value or the lowest value right so in that cases you can uh, uh, use a specific tree map and it would help you to uh like uh, uh verify which specific proportion of the data has got the uh, larger amount of values so uh this is also used to show the pattern like how this distribution of the measure has been uh, uh, looked at uh, for every category in that particular hierarchy so here it basically uses both the size and the color coding for its uh, distribution so as you see here uh, you have both the colors like uh, individual colors have been assigned for every categorical value and also the size of the chart uh, the size of the individual rectangles has also been uh, modified according to its volume right so tree maps are using both these attributes together both the color and the size together to represent and highlight that particular data value in that particular visual okay so uh, let me recap like uh, when do we go for a tree maps so tree maps are ident uh, idle when we would like to display large amounts of hierarchical data the second point is when a bar chart uh, is not able to effectively handle a large amount of values that's when you can choose a tree map and uh, if you would like to show the proportions between each part and the whole even then you can use a tree map and uh, so which is similar to that of your pie and a uh, donut chart right so tree map is also helpful to uh, verify or display the proportions among uh, like between each part and the whole value and it is also ideal when you would like to show a pattern of the distribution of that corresponding measure across each level of categories in that in that particular hierarchy right and it can also show the attributes so so how is it being displaying the distribution it is based on the attributes using size and the color okay and tree maps are also helpful to spot any uh, outliers or any patterns that you can think of uh, in that particular uh, data set 
so in this way tree maps are a great choice when uh, if your requirement is any of these points that i've mentioned right so in those situations you can quickly use a tree map and um, get that output like a uh, get that uh, data out of it so i hope you understood when uh, why do we use a tree map and its importance so if you do like this video please do give a thumbs up and uh, please do watch the next videos as well that comes along with this session thank you